Okay. Defense independence is, uh, is critical. The central bank needs to be able to make policy without short-term political concerns. The Fed's independence critical? Yes. The Fed's condition critical? Maybe. The Federal Reserve Bank is almost 100 years old. It was created as the U.S. National Bank. The Fed has three main duties. One, manage U.S. money and U.S. credit. Two, service the entire private U.S. banking and financial system. Three, manage the 12 regional Fed banks. Because the Fed oversees the most powerful economy in the world, it bears the responsibility of being the most powerful bank in the world. The Fed is also the most powerful because it is totally autonomous. It answers to nobody. It reports quadrennially to Congress, but it is not subject to its purse strings. The Fed spends on itself what it says it needs. The Fed's chairman defends his unique autonomy. In, in order to do what's best for the economy. Uh, we, we do all of our analysis, we do all of our policy decisions based on what we think the economy needs, not based on when the election is or what political conditions are. Well, Chairman Bernanke, tell that to Texas Congressman Ron Paul. For over 30 years, the libertarian, Republican, and two-time presidential candidate has argued the Fed is far too autonomous, too powerful. Paul also says Fed policies and Fed freedom cause financial bubbles that bring down the economy. In two weeks, Congressman Ron Paul will be Chairman Ron Paul, Chairman of the House Subcommittee on Domestic Monetary Policy, which includes in its oversight the Fed. Incoming Chairman Paul intends to use his new position to push legislation that would for the first time coerce the Fed to open its books to Congress, indeed to Chairman Paul's Domestic Monetary Policy Subcommittee. It's the atrocious nature of the fact that the Fed is, is a government unto itself. I think there is so much more to learn, well, and I'm very delighted that the people want to know more about the well, Fed. Question, in what ways does Congress exercise power over the Federal Reserve, Monica Crowley? Well, the Fed is independent. Uh, the chairman of the Fed does have to report, as you pointed out, um, every quarter to the Congress. But it is an autonomous um, institution, and rightfully so. The only Ron one Paul, in the U.S. government? The only one in the U.S. government that doesn't have strict congressional oversight over it. Now, Ron Paul is going to be uh, chairing this subcommittee. Bernanke is going to be testifying in front of him, and that's going to be some very interesting C-SPAN viewing, because there are going to be a lot of fireworks. Ron Paul believes that the Fed should be disclosing what it's doing. Ron Paul has gone out there saying that the Fed is, is helping to destroy the U.S. currency, the dollar, and he thinks that uh, the, the currency devaluation is a very John, serious problem, potential inflation. There are going to be a lot of questions for Bernanke. Ron Paul is right. When the Fed was formed, John, a $20 gold piece and a $20 bill were worth the same. Now you need 70 $20 bills to buy one $20 gold piece. That's what's happened to the currency. The second thing is Milton Friedman proved and got a Nobel Prize for proving it was the Federal Reserve, not Smoot Hawley, that was responsible for the Great Depression, the huge bubble that popped and exploded mm -hmm. on the American economy after the Roaring Twenties. The Secretary of the Treasury is Tim Geithner. Tim Geithner and Bernanke are the best of pals, even, th even though e neither one of them is it really in moves in social circles in Washington, D.C. It's uh, kind of an odd couple, but they have coupled, and they are the ones that are really engineering U.S. finance and economic policy. Does that make you comfortable? It sure does. Compared to the alternatives, uh, Tim Geithner was involved with the Federal Reserve Bank of mm -hmm. New York, which is how he worked with Bernanke. But I will say this. The Federal Reserve System saved this economy, and it saved the financial system in the last several years. The whole banking system was frozen for various reasons, mm -hmm. including a huge amount of bad loans. You couldn't get money into our economy through the banking system because they wouldn't make loans simply because they didn't so know how you're bad they were. So you're com are you comfortable I with the independence? I, 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 the I autonomy of the absolutely. Fed? Absolutely. I would support it under any condition. Predictions, Pat. Uh, Barack Obama will demand that the Israelis come forward with their own peace plan now that his plan has just fallen apart. No, no, no. 
The Tea Party Caucus in the House has 43 members. They've elected 41 new members, and they're all going to get their hearts broken as they've come up against all the forces in Washington, the same forces that Barack Obama came up against. Mm -hmm. The first two bills that Speaker Boehner will propose on the House floor, H.R. 1 and H.R. 2, will be making all of the tax rates permanent and the repeal of Obamacare. Uh, five seconds more. I don't believe Mike Bloomberg is going to run for the presidency of the United States. Wow. Boy, I hope that changes. Outgoing Brazilian President Lula da Silva will announce his candidacy for U.N. Secretary General next year. Bye-bye. GEICO, committed to providing service to its auto insurance customers for over 70 years. More information on auto insurance at GEICO.com or 1-800-947-AUTO, any time of the day or night. There's a world of investment opportunities out there. Spotting them takes experts on the ground, assessing potential firsthand. Templeton, a pioneer in global investing for over 50 years. Gain from our perspective.